Hello and welcome to 1655 Arrow, Kettering, Ohio. This is a fantastic two-story house with a semi-finished basement. We're located just minutes from Berwyn Park, which is that way, not too far from the Green, State Route 35, and Interstate 675. Updated vinyl siding, updated roof, tons of updates on the inside of the house too. A lot of the mechanicals are new or newer. Big two-car garage here, and we have the door open right now. There is a 220 volt in here, so you have room for a big compressor or a welder if you like working on cars, and can easily get two cars in there. This is a oversized two-car garage. You can see here and here, just really, really nice two-car garage here. Coming around, the yard is basically fully fenced. We just have to put a gate on here, but this is the back patio. Uh, this furniture here can stay if you do want it. This is the back of the house here. Looks like uh, oversized gutters on here. Most of the yard is fenced. Little burn pit here. And there actually are some things noteworthy in the yard here. A couple of the, the owners are gonna take a couple, I think they said five of these rocks. I'm not sure which ones. But back here, we have some raised garden boxes here. Compost stays. And this actually is hops right here. So with these ropes, the hops will go grow up the ropes here. And the current owner used to make their own beer. Air conditioner on this side over here. And that is newer as well. So that is the backyard. Oh, and the basketball hoop stays as well. Next, let's go take a look at the inside. All right, so here I just walked through the front door and we're greeted by our entry right here. The custom made, there's three of these custom made, um, they're made out of skids, but there's three of these custom milled skid shelves throughout the house and those are going to stay. But a big wide entry here and very tall ceilings in this home too, which makes it feel you know, very spacious and large. This feels much bigger than the square footage that's listed on the MLS. Uh, the windows have been updated throughout the house. This is the living room that we're looking at right now. The TV does not stay, and the Apple TV mount there is not going to stay, but the mount for the TV will stay. The floating shelves will stay as well. And we're in the living room, so these three windows here, all three of them open, that does overlook the front porch. As you can see right there, this house has tons of charm in it, and it's just over 100 years old. But the curved archways, the high ceilings, and from the living room, the curved archway into the dining room here, and currently being used as an office, but I think traditionally this would be the dining room. And if you need a fourth bedroom, I've actually seen people wall this off and put a door on there and use this as a bedroom if you needed a fourth bedroom. But some great build-ins here. Looks like we have a Nest thermostat, which you can control from your phone. And then from the dining room here, naturally, this would be right off the kitchen. Have our little breakfast area here. And guys, this is a uh, built, not, it's not a build-in, but this breakfast nook is going to stay here. The table and the bench is going to stay. All the window treatments are going to stay. Kitchen was remodeled. We have new tile backsplash in here. Cabinets were painted, and it looks, it's hard to even tell that they were painted. It was such a good job. Refrigerator stays. The gas stove stays. Microwave stays. And the dishwasher stays. And the kitchen's much bigger than what it appears because it goes all the way down this section here. And this is kind of your back door that goes out to kind of the back patio area. And then the kitchen sink, big double bowl kitchen sink overlooks the backyard. You can hand a beer right out the window. So just a fantastic first floor. This is a coat closet right here. And then this is the door to the basement. We will go down there. It's semi-finished, but before we go down there, let's go upstairs and take a look. 
All right, so here I just came to the top of the stairs. First room to the left is a full bathroom, and boy, is it a full bathroom. This is like the size of a, uh, this is the size of a bedroom. Let's just call it what it is here. But we have updated vanity, and this is a very nice vanity. It stands like it's a piece of furniture. Toilet there. This is all the wood look ceramic tile, so really, really cool floor here. Big tub, as you can see, it bulges out right there, so a big tub and a great build-in over here too. It's almost like having an armoire in the bathroom. And some of the charm of this home has the original doors. Even down there in that dining room area, if you wanted to make that, there is an additional, they're actually the original doors in the loft of the garage there, if you need them as well. But a lot of character and charm with the original woodwork and doors. This is bedroom number one. This is on the front of the house. So that's the front of the house right there. If you're looking at the house, that's the left side of the house that way. And it does have two windows in, in here and they're all vinyl windows. Bedroom number two, this would be on the front right of the home if you're looking at it from the street. Two windows in here as well. And then the original doors and trim in this room. And this is another one of those shelves that can stay. And then bedroom number three. This is on the back right of the home if you're looking at it from the street. So this window would overlook the driveway. And this window overlooks the backyard. And then I love, I love those doors. I'm sorry, I'll stop talking about them. And this has a nice little surprise. So we've seen three bedrooms. Uh, what's this go to? Let's go check it out. All right, so here it just came up the stairs and this is the third floor. Now we're not calling it a three story or a two and a half story. We're just calling this walk up attic. Now I am six foot three and I can stand right here. And of course, the shorter down it goes, it goes, but I can walk through here. It's partially finished does have a window. Could be an additional bedroom if you finished off the floor for someone that wasn't super tall. The area that we're standing in right now could be a bedroom, but right now it's just being used as storage. And it goes way back here too. Current owners are using this as a walk-in closet and that goes back, I'd say probably eight, nine feet little storage closet there. So a nice little surprise up here could be a playroom. Obviously it would, does get hot up here, but you could put the air conditioning unit in the window and make a little playroom or additional bedroom if needed. So we've seen the really the first three floors. Now let's go check out the basement. All right, so here we just came down to the basement. There's a little landing area here, kind of like an entry way going into the basement. We could go circular floor plan, uh, so to speak, in the basement here, but there is storage underneath the stairs here. And then immediately to our right, this is our second bathroom. Big vanity here, toilet, shower. Washer and dryer do stay with the home. Our water meters over there. Then our furnace, our, and our hot water heater, furnace, hot water heater, an air conditioner are not that old, uh, very much newer. And then walking, coming around the circle here, walking around, we have our family room. And this workout equipment is negotiable. The bench and all the dumbbells and the rack and everything is negotiable. Another area over here could make this a home office here, if need be, or a place to throw darts, or could put pool table or ping pong table down here so this is our semi-finished basement and again washer and dryer is included the weight bench is negotiable and our mechanicals are newer next I'll meet you upstairs for a few closing statements so thanks for watching our video if you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call I'm sure they would be more than happy to show you this fine home a house this quality and Kettering with a two-car garage does not come along 
that often. So make sure that you act quickly and get into this place as soon as possible. Washer, dryer included, fridge, range, microwave, dishwasher, uh, weight equipment in the basement is negotiable, the back patio set stays, um, extra material in the garage, siding that matches the house, all of the additional paint that was used in the house will stay. Uh, the lawnmower is negotiable as well. So great house. Forgot to point out the ship lap on the ceiling. Just feels like a, a very, basically an updated quaint farmhouse. Very, very cool. Hope you like it as much as I do. Tile backsplash on here. Sorry, I'm still talking. Uh, under, there's things I forgot. I'm remembering now. Under mount kitchen lighting. That all stays with the house as well. So thanks for watching. I look forward to talking to you.